So one of the big downsides to most Debian-based distributions is apt or APT. Now, most of APT's defenders say it's okay, mainly because they just don't know anything else. <laughs> Let's be real. Apt is really archaic. It's slow. It doesn't have a history. It, it's mirror system. It, it, it just requires a lot of third-party plugins. It, all these things can be overcome, but... I just found something that is a better front end for APT so you no longer have to use it. Because whenever I'm on a Debian system, using apt slows me down where I'm like, okay, let me get apt fast and then adjust the mirrors. And then, okay, now it's an actual functional package management that I'm not spending hours downloading garbage that should only take 10 minutes. And that's apt in a nutshell. So let's fix apt and no longer use it, we're going to use a different front end. It, at its core, it's still using apt, but it fixes all these problems. So of course, with everything in Linux, open source to the rescue, we're looking here at Nala. And Nala is a front end for apt. It does a variety of different things from parallel downloads. So there's apt fast that you no longer have to install. Nala takes care of that. It has fetch to where it will go ahead and automatically uh, go through all the mirrors and then pick out the best mirrors that are the fastest for your you know geographic location it has a history and that history is extremely powerful with an undo and a whole bunch of other stuff so let's get in kind of display in this in that it also makes it much prettier when it goes to install and uninstall stuff too i mean it just fixes the whole bit so enough talk let's get on our terminal and let's uh let's explore so let's first uh, show you app and we'll install kitty. It's a better terminal in my opinion uh, But this is what it's doing right now. Now. This is a local mirror which works just fine for me Not so bad. And then if I wanted to purge kitty sudo apt purge kitty So this is the act of installing and uninstalling from app nothing too crazy here So let's fix this with Nala and uh, we'll just tab over here and Nala is pretty easy to install. We'll just add their mirror right here. And then all we need to do is do install Nala on Ubuntu 22 or greater or Debian SID, which is what I'm running right now is Debian SID. Uh, but if you're on an older or a stable release of Debian, you're going to want Nala legacy. No difference between the two, just uh, two different packages. So we'll Paste this guy in here and hit enter. We'll just do a sudo apt update, apt install Nala. And yes. So this is just grabbing some Python dependencies and uh, I, I think lib apt will already be installed. Now with all this done, here is what a traditional apt upgrade would look like. You can kind of see, okay, 240 packages to be upgraded, about 322 megs of download. We're gonna say no to this. Instead, we're going to go sudo nala upgrade. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, no change. Boom. Much better summary. This this is very much like DNF in uh, Fedora, which is what I've been using. But this could, you know, kind of wean me back to Debian because apt is one of the things I hate the most. And you can kind of see, okay, this is how much we need. Disk space to free. And do you want to continue? Okay, neat. Uh, let's hit yes and see how fast the download goes. Oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful, beautiful download. We got 40 megabytes per second, close to about 100 megabit. And when it comes to upgrading the packages, I mean, can you get any better than this? Normally, it would just be a whole bunch of garbage just spinning past my screen. Hard to say what was going on there. So this is just kind of saying the changes here. We're going to just hit quit for that. Console setup, we'll hit enter. Console setup is kind of neat if you ever go to like TTY. I did a whole video on console setup. Uh, so if you don't have a GUI environment and you're working off a console, you can make the text look really nice. But we're going to just let this run. But I love this method of updating so much better because of, you know, usually when you blow up the text like this, it just becomes completely illegible. And because of how well designed Nala is, you have this gorgeous 
basically GUI inside the terminal. Not only that, but you also have the parallel downloads that you normally would get from AppFast. So it's just the best of all worlds for any Debian, Ubuntu, all those systems. Now, also it should be noted that even though Nala is kind of like the front end for Apt, when it comes to the downloading portion of the packages, it's not using app for the front end. And uh, just so you can see right here, you, you have the time remaining. It has a really good estimate. The ETA is not just a, a BS estimate. This was actually showing about four or five minutes. It's been about four or five minutes and the package count as it's doing it. So I absolutely love that. I mean, how cool is that uh, GUI interface for installing packages, you know, hey, I got five minutes, let me go get a cup of coffee and come back. Uh, but it just doesn't stop there. And why I'm just so, so wildly impressed. Uh, again, one of the big reasons for Fedora was I was so happy with DNF and di differential updates and those types of things for the downloading portion. But this is essentially is better than DNF in a lot of ways. And I am consider seriously considering coming back to Debian just to use Nala. We are ready. We could do a reboot here, but we're going to just uh, keep going. Uh, because if you go uh, Nala history, just to kind of show you a history, we did an upgrade with a whole bunch of different ones. You can see it was altered 252 packages. We could do a Nala undo and then just type the ID of one to undo everything we just did. Now, I'm not going to do that, but just to show you this, let's go Nala install Kitty. And we're going to install Kitty, which is my favorite terminal. Uh, install that. You can see it's got a couple dependencies, but only takes a couple seconds. And then let's do uh, Nala history again. And right here, you can see it's altered five packages. It has another ID. You can actually see the upgrade command before, but now we have that. So let's uh, launch Kitty, just so you can see it's installed. There's uh, Kitty terminal. We'll exit out of that. And now we'll do sudo Nala undo two for the ID. And actually that should be sudo Nala history undo two. And that uninstalls Kitty and all the dependencies we just installed. It just grabbed them all. So we didn't have to do this APT purge. And then hopefully it doesn't grab a whole bunch of uh, nastiness. I always think of when uh, Linus was doing the Linux challenge and he did an apt upgrade of Steam or, or an apt install of Steam and it purged the entire desktop environment. This type of thing would give you such a better heads up than apt ever will. And it's just so well put together to where if there is something that happened damaged on an upgrade or a undo or any kind of history that's happened. And then probably the last big part of Nala is the pseudo Nala fetch. And this grabs all the different Debian mirrors and then tests all of them all 349 Debian mirrors, it'll flip through and go, okay, what is the fastest mirror? And then it goes out and sets all your sources list to it. So you're going to be downloading probably sometimes 10 times faster than uh, just the regular old Debian.org mirror. This is just such a better way of downloading and using stuff. Now, obviously I, I don't use this. I have a sourced open one, but I actually want to just show you what it's doing when we do a pseudo Nala fetch. And then you have all these, you can see the scores. All this is great. Do you want to keep these separated by spaces? Uh, let's go one, two, three. And then it grabs those three mirrors and then it would write them out. So you can pick whichever mirrors you really want, but you can see how quickly it'll grab from those mirrors. And you might want to run this every month, you know, just to make sure you're getting a really good result. But pretty darn cool that these are the mirrors that ended up grabbing as I've never actually used these top two mirrors and it has the best score. So if I didn't have a local mirror, I totally would do this and we can write that out. So say yes. And then it's all in Nala sources list. Uh, so <laughs> that is really neat. And if we go app, sources list, you can see there's our normal mirror. And then if we do a pseudo Nala update, it'll have the newer mirror. So it, it replaces all those. So it's, it's so nice to do on pretty much every install. 
All of these things bundled together will make your Debian, Ubuntu, Elementary, Pop! OS, whatever it is, everything that's Debian-based, such a better experience when it goes to install programs. So with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next one.